In this tutorial, you will learn how to play back notes using LiveScribe Desktop. Launch LiveScribe Desktop by double-clicking the icon on your desktop. The main toolbar provides buttons for the four main views of LiveScribe Desktop, Pages, Audio, LiveScribe Online, and Application Manager. In the center is a messaging area that provides different information depending on what action is being performed. Pages view is the default view when you run LiveScribe Desktop. Use this view to look at the pages in your notebooks. In the top right hand corner is a drop down list showing all smart pens authorized with LiveScribe Desktop. The blue check mark indicates which smart pen is currently connected to your computer. You can select any smart pen from the list to view the notes associated with that pen. On the left side is a navigation pane currently showing the library tab. Under active notebooks is a list of notebooks, journals, and other dot paper products that are being used with the selected smart pen. We are going to select One Subject Notebook 3 to view the notes in that notebook in the central view pane, which is the main area where you view and interact with your notes. Click the thumbnails button to toggle between viewing a single page of notes and the thumbnails of all pages in a notebook. When viewing a single page, you can change pages by either typing in the page number you want to view and pressing enter on your keyboard, or by clicking the next page or previous page buttons. You can also jump to the beginning or end of a notebook with the first page or last page buttons. Zoom in or out of the current page view by clicking the zoom buttons, or by moving the slider control left or right. In the Write and Record video, we demonstrated how you could write with your smart pen turned off, but nothing would be captured or recorded. That is why this area of the page appears blank. If you had your smart pen on while writing, but did not tap the record button, your handwriting is still captured when using LiveScribe dot paper and appears black in LiveScribe desktop. You will not have any audio to play back. If you had your smart pen on and tapped the record button while writing, your handwriting appears green in LiveScribe Desktop and is actively linked to audio. When your mouse is over active ink, you will see a pointing hand cursor. To play back audio linked to your notes, click on the green active ink in your handwriting. You can tap anywhere within your handwritten notes to play back the audio from that point in time when you wrote the notes. When listening to an audio session, you see the session tab in the navigation pane showing all pages associated to the audio session currently playing. Use the audio controls at the bottom of the LiveScribe desktop screen to control audio during playback. You can begin playing audio by clicking on the play button. The button turns into a pause button while a session is playing, so you can toggle between pause and play. Jump back or forward in 10 second increments with the jump buttons. Jump to the previous or next bookmark if you made them during record or playback in your notebook. The audio timeline control indicates the position of the currently playing audio within the context of the entire audio file. While listening to a session, you can move the time frame slider forward or backward to a specific area to see how it corresponds with your written notes. Use the playback speed control to increase or decrease the speed of the audio. Click on the library tab or press the red X to close the session tab when you are done listening to your selected audio session. This concludes the tutorial on how to playback notes using LiveScribe Desktop.